Hello YouTube, this is my new toy, or I mean tool I just bought. It's a tool, it's not a toy. No matter what the wife says. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to do a review on this. There's plenty of videos out there. There's even a gentleman, if I find it again, I'll put it in the description. So look in the description sometime of some videos that really shows uh, how this works and everything. It's, I'm sure he's doing it for the factory, older gentleman. So there's plenty of videos on these out there. I read a lot of reviews on Amazon. I watched every YouTube video possible of, of this machine and then I decided to buy it. Okay, It comes with a really good instruction manual comes with a real quick guide of what to use the belts for. You get three different kind of belts. I've got a 6,000 grit fine honing belt on there. You get a green, that's a coarse 80 grit. You get a 220. We're going to use the green one, like used for hatchets and lawnmower blades, to put an edge on this homemade shiv knife. So this has no edge. So I will be making a video just on this knife. I've got paracord on it. Just made out of a hunk of that uh, miter saw blade like hand saw blade okay here's another homemade knife I did the bevels kind of shorter on one side than the other so I cannot tell you if the sharpener is doing that or me because I filed this by hand to first start making it so I just really quick run it through there I do have a problem I have to learn I'm kind of messing up back here okay when I drop it in and do it I'm kind of messing up I don't know if it's the design of the blade how I made it but I'm kind of gouging it out too much. Not a big deal on a work knife, but I have a $50 chef's knife I'll be making a video on, <clears throat> excuse me, that I don't want to mess up. I found it, it's a really nice made in Germany knife. Okay, this I'll have a picture of it where I can't get the tip of it right. I know there's a lot of complaints people were saying they round the tips off, but I can't get the tip to hone on this ring so I'm gonna run it through the 220 first just just my work pocket knife $12 at Menards I carry this all the time $12 <clears throat> excuse me again so we will pause <clears throat> excuse me again I don't want to have to edit this I will pause and I will show you a clip of this cutting through paper okay so we'll have that clip included and we'll think of a couple other things add to the video about it and we'll be right back after I take a drink because my throat is dry okay <clears throat> hello 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 I feel like in the radio days hello hello anybody hear me out there okay I'm not an expert doing this I'm trust me I'm the worst person to show you how to cut through paper so But trust me, it's sharp. Like I said, I am not the best person to do this. I may re even retake this. So that's the best you'll get me cutting paper. This is just cheap homemade knife. You know, I've honed it on a 6,000 grit. I hurried up, put an edge on it, I had it filed. It's, it's Good enough to use in the kitchen, camping, or anything like that. I mean, it's good enough for that. So, we'll pause again. We'll be back, and we'll think of a few other things to talk about. I don't want this to be a whole long video on it. Okay, we're back. Hope we can get our throat cleared out. This is 20 degrees on each side, 40 degree total. This is for kitchen knives. That's what this be used for, not for outdoor. Okay, and then you have your outdoor one, which is. 50 degrees each side. I'm going to take a whole lot of pictures this time. And then you have your scissors thing there. Okay? But it's going to be installed this way, which it still shows the number over here 25 each side. Okay? These are kind of hard to get off here. This, this is take two on this. Okay? Kind of hard to get off there, but it's not real noisy. This is tracking, like on a belt sander. I hope you can see it. We'll try it. Might have seen it go towards the left. That's your little tracking knob like for belt sander. Okay, the duty on this is like what? 
20 minutes per hour or whatever, I don't think I'm ever going to get it hot. But with everything, I'm always modifying stuff. I don't like holding this down. Not that it isn't sturdy. I don't like holding it down and then pulling the switch. Because I'm around here like this, okay? And then, then you got your knife and everything. You know, you free, you, some people are freehanding doing their knife. I think about getting a piece of board with some holes and zip tie this down. I want this to stay solid on a board. So all I gotta do is reach under here with my thumb. And that's way easier to press. Or if I did want to put my hand over it. But I just don't like holding on to it. Not that it isn't solid, it's got its little feet. Feet area here and then this back in here. So you can see it. The little feeties. One, two, three, four, then this little this little piece. So it's got really nice little feet on here. No problem, okay? Uh, I doubt I'll ever play around with adjusting the speed using my Variac. I've seen in some comments and videos. They wish they could change the speed of this, but I'm going to leave it the way they have it. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to use it the way it was designed to and the way it was built. But if you really got picky, you could use a Variac. I've had it in other videos. This is only like not even one amp motor. So if you really want to do that, play around with it, we'll get one of them. I'd recommend that than a light dimmer. But it's not real noisy. I did at the same time because I bought this on Amazon. I ordered another $10. I got another belt kit. It comes with two each of each kind. Well, I got a set with two each more. So I have plenty of belts. Let's put it that way. It comes with two of each kind. I got another box full with two of each kind. So don't want this to be a whole long video. Uh, look for some videos when I'll be playing around it. I get brave and put an edge on this from the start using the coarse grit from the very start of something that does not even have an edge on it we're gonna get brave beans we have extra belts in case we screw up a belt we're gonna start with that real coarse 80 grit so thanks for watching I'll give you a few pictures in here There, I included that. We're not good at cutting paper on film. There you go.